14th gen Intel CPUs are now available at your local Micro Center. We have new builds of PowerSpec PCs featuring 14th gen CPUs available at launch. This next wave of Intel processors features the Intel Core 14th gen of CPUs with the i9-14900K, i7-14700K, and i5-14600K. This new gen features increased clock speeds and in the case of the i7-14700K, increased cores and threads over its predecessor for even more power at a mid-range price point. Let's take a look at the specs. Starting with the i9, the 14900K features 24 total cores, 8 performance cores, and 16 efficiency cores. Compared to the 13th gen, there's an increase in clock speeds across the board, with the performance cores at a base clock of 3.2 GHz and the efficiency cores at 2.5 GHz. The 14900K can turbo boost up to 5.6 GHz on the P cores and 4.4 GHz on the E cores, though you can achieve 5.8 GHz with Turbo Boost Max, as well as a thermal velocity boost up to 6 GHz. Featuring 32 threads and 32 MB of L2 cache and 36 MB of L3 cache, the 14900K establishes itself as the flagship of the 14th gen lineup and is perfect for heavy video editing, 3D designs, as well as gaming sessions. Meanwhile, the star of the show is the i7-14700K, featuring 20 total cores, 8 performance cores, and 12 efficiency cores. This is an increase of 4 E cores from the 13700K. The P cores have a base clock of 3.4 GHz and E cores at 2.5 GHz. The 14700K can turbo boost up to 5.5 GHz on the P cores and 4.4 GHz on the E cores, with turbo boost max to 5.6 GHz. With 28 threads, 28 MB of L2 cache, and 33 MB of L3 cache, the 14700K is closing the gap between high-end and mid-tier processors, bringing more power to your mid-range builds capable of heavy workloads or increased gaming performance. Moving on to the i5-14600K, with 14 total cores, 6 P cores, and 8 E cores, we again see an increase in clock speeds across the board, with the P core base frequency at 3.2 GHz and E core base frequency at 2.4 GHz. P cores turbo boost to 5.3 GHz and E cores turbo boost to 4.0 GHz. With 20 threads, 20 megabytes of L2 cache, and 24 megabytes of L3 cache, the i5 retains its position as a cost-effective upgrade for gamers. While there's a core increase and clock speed increases across the 14th gen, all three chips are packed with 20 PCIe lanes. Compatibility with DDR4-3200 and DDR5-5600, supporting up to 192 gigabytes of total RAM. All three chips have Intel UHD Graphics 770, and they also use the familiar LGA 1700 socket, which is the same as the 12th and 13th generations, and is compatible with Z690 and Z790 boards. Another new feature unique to the 14th gen is the addition of Wi-Fi 7 support, which will provide greater speeds and reliability over previous Wi-Fi generations. Z790 boards with Wi-Fi 7 support are starting to roll out now with the 14th gen. Our lab ran Cinebench on the i9 and i7 and found the i9 has a 3.5% increase in R23 single core and an increase of 3.6% on the i7. On R23 multi-core, the i9 again has a 3.5 increase but the i7 shows a 12.3% increase, showing the vast improvements in the i7 over the previous generation with the addition of the four cores. We also ran some video export tests with a video timeline, composed of footage from several different camera and codec types, ranging from 4K B-RAW, 4K XAVC HS, and 6.2K H.265 and Apple ProRes footage. While DaVinci Resolve is more GPU intensive, it does rely more on the CPU for H.265 footage for the hardware encode and decode provided by the 13th and 14th gen CPUs. We exported this timeline into a 4K DNxHR video file at 444 12-bit color space. 
the 14th gen exported the DNxHR video file a second faster than the 13th gen at 2 minutes and 2 seconds. We took this video file and brought it into Handbrake to push the CPU to the limit with an X265 export. Using a preset with X265, this export will rely fully on the CPU. You can see that the utilization of the GPU is minimal, while the CPU is practically pushed to 100% utilization on all cores across the board. We had a 4K export at 422 10-bit color space in H.265, and a 14th gen performed 6 seconds faster than the 13th gen. An increase of 1.17% on export times may not sound too amazing, but where these Intel chips shine is with their general performance with 422 10-bit HEVC footage. Currently, only Intel CPU and GPUs or Apple M chips offer hardware support for 422 10-bit HEVC video files, and you cannot get hardware encode or decode with NVIDIA GPUs or AMD CPU and GPUs. More and more cameras on the market are using this flavor of HEVC for its great compression and color space, and the hardware support makes editing these video files a breeze. So, while you may not see a drastic improvement on exports from Intel generation to generation, you will see a very big difference in machines with and without hardware support. Another thing of note is the snappy timeline scrubbing with HEVC footage on the 14th gen CPU, which will make editing this footage a breeze. To see more benchmarks on the 14th gen CPUs, check out our Micro Center community article. All in all, the 14th gen Intel Core CPUs offer great performance, and we look forward to using the 14900K in our video editing rig in our new studio. Remember, all three chips are available today at your local Micro Center, so stop on by the Build Your Own section to find the right CPU and motherboard for your next build. And if you want to start gaming right away, our PowerSpec line of PCs come powered with Intel 14th gen CPUs. What will you do with your Intel 14th Gen CPU? Let us know in the comments below. And if you made it this far, remember to comment, hashtag, I want a micro center near me.